Well Dave, in the last two years we've seen devastating cuts to the living standards of all the working people across the country and Comch has been immune to that. And what is clear, we've only just, just seen a glimpse, if you like, of what is to come. Ten percent uh, a lot is what is often talked about uh, in, the, in the media, what cuts are, 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 that are taking place. Uh, what can people of expect to see uh, in the next couple of months and years and what, as a socialist councillor, uh, can you do about it? There is a certain lag to decisions being taken for the uh, cuts, uh, then they're being passed and then finally seeing the uh, effects. In Coventry, it was said right at the very beginning of this coalition government that their target was something like £146 million a year cut out the council uh, the budget. Far more, by the way, coming out of other uh, aspects of public spending, from the police through to the, the health service. Of that £146 million, Coventry's Labour Council has so far cut 60 million, about 40% of the, the total uh, target. But we still haven't seen the final effects of some of the cuts that were passed over a year ago in Coventry. I'll give one example. The cuts to the Sure Start uh, budget, which will uh, reduce uh, from 20 down to uh, 14 the number of uh, uh, Sure Start nurseries in the, the city, and reduce the hours that, uh, that people can have care for their children in those short start uh, uh, nurses still hasn't been brought in. There's still consultation taking place on the, that, but it was something that was passed as a budget cut in February of last, uh, last, last year. So we've got a lot more still to come out of the last couple of years' cuts, and there's still another three years of this coalition uh, government. This is, without doubt, the biggest cuts in public spending that's been seen for 80 or 90 years. Council workers are halfway through a five-year wage uh, freeze. They're getting, finding it harder and harder to pay the food bills, pay the fuel bills, organise holidays for their kids. That's going to get worse unless we stand up and resist it. And the big three parties have got an overlapping agenda which agrees that the gambling debts of the bankers four years ago when the crash took place in 2008 should be honoured by uh, ordinary people in Coventry. If I put a tenner on a horse at Ladbrokes and it came in ninth and I came to you and said can I have my tenner back, you'd tell me where to go. So why aren't we telling the bankers where to go when they gambled the tenors of uh, two uh, years ago and now having uh, uh, lost, they're coming to us to pick up their gambling uh, uh, debts. We need a much bigger presence in Coventry both on the council, in the trade union uh, movement, in the communities, amongst young people, people joining us in the Socialist Party so we can build a much bigger campaign of resistance against the establishment and them delivering the agenda for the, uh, the rich and the powerful and the bankers in this uh, country. So it's more than just an election, it's more than just the immediate cuts that you see. The real agenda of big business in this country is to take away the gains of generations of ordinary people. We've got to stand up to it.